Hello everyone. Welcome to this lesson where we are going to look at the charts for drawing some trend lines and try to put some channel lines on those trend lines. So what we have open is the gold price chart, which is showing a line graph. So here you can see that there's a there's an uptrend line, which is this line at the bottom. Then there's a channel line here at the top. One can make a case to say maybe there's another channel within the broader within the broader uptrend. So this can be another line that can be put here to say price probably might be failing to penetrate this level to go into this into this channel line. So you might want to see what happens as price gets near to this other second line. So it could be there is a case for that. But now let's look at something that we can start from scratch. Let's try British American tobacco. Okay, as you can see, this one had a channel line that I was looking at from, from previous analysis. Let me just change this from a line to candles. As you can see there, we have got an uptrend line and we've got a channel line that we draw at the top. As you can see, we had an uptrend, then it came down. So the, the high point or the swing high that was made by this upswing in price is where we put the channel line and we extended it going forward, then it shows a nice channel which was regulating price. There were periods where the price went above the channel line, but as you can see, it came back within the channel until it broke the channel, and then the trend changed to a downtrend. So as it changed to a downtrend, you could make a case for, for saying, this is a downtrend. But then as you can see, it's not a very good downtrend that it is showing because we only had one touch there, two, and three, and four, and five. So we might make a case for a steeper trend line there. And we can see that this uh, steeper trend line was sort of respecting a channel a bit, although which is not very clear. But then it was, it was quickly broken to the upside. So you don't really have to have many trend lines. Usually you want to look at things that stand out when you look at the chart. For example, this channel was outstanding when you look at the chart and you can see that it started in October of 2019 and it ran all the way to, to February of 2020. So that was a time when it was just in an uptrend respecting the channel. So whoever would have bought here, they would probably keep holding until the price just breaks and shows that it's, it's staying outside of the channel. So when we look at it now, let's try and see where the trend is. We could make a case to say this is an uptrend. So if I draw a line there touching the swing lows, I could make a case to say it's in an uptrend. Then I can draw a channel line right at the top there. As you can see, this is not exactly like parallel lines because as you can see, it's like expanding to the upside. 
So we can see the price went into this channel, came down, and it hit the line and started going up. Went and hit the the channel line, came down again towards the the trend line, went up again, hit the channel line, came back, tried to go up, but this time it didn't manage to get all the way to this line. So you might want to make a case to say this share might probably be looking to go into a downtrend, but then it's not yet confirmed. And you can draw you can draw a trend line there just to see how things are going to proceed. So there you might see that this chart is forming like a triangular type of lines that are going to meet somewhere. Wherever it meets, it will either go up or it will go down. But that's something that's coming in in future lessons where we need to analyze this further. Again, we can try to see another chart. Perhaps let's try platform holdings. I do apologize for the feedback you are getting. The kids in my complex will make noise from 7 a.m. until to 7 p.m. So sometimes I just have to say, let me record them to keep myself and saying, I'll do it, I'll do it. So as you can see here, we had some lines that were marked already. So this might not be a great, a great one to look at because it's already had stuff written over it. And this one for Sunlam, I believe we have looked at it before, but we can sort of use it for recap. So here we can see that there is a downtrend. So we can start from this point and draw a line like this. Then we can say we have got a downtrend. Was it respecting a channel? We can use this swing row as the point that we would want. Then we can have a sort of a nicer channel that is formed. Someone might say I would move it towards this point, but then you only have one candle with a second touch. I usually look for three touches. If I move it here, then you have got one, two, three, four touches, which is a good enough. But if you want to have a better idea of where to buy and where to sell, you might want to move it to this point. Because if you wait for it to get to this level, you would only have two opportunities. But if it is here, you would have one opportunity, two opportunities, three, four, five opportunities. So that is how you draw. This would be your trend line and this would be your channel line. We will continue in the next video to analyze. Hopefully these kids will lower their volume. Thank you.